Also in Santa Cruz, signs are up right now informing campers at San Lorenzo Park's ba uh, benchlands that they have to move. They must be out of the park by Wednesday. Most are relocating to a temporary site on River Street. And while the city gears up to assist with that move, we're getting a much better idea of how much all of this is going to cost taxpayers. More on that from Action News reporter Phil Gomez in Santa Cruz. Aaron, it'll cost the city more than $90,000 a month to operate the temporary campsite over the next three to four months. The County of Santa Cruz will also be providing money for the new location. I agree. Uh, that's a lot of money. Um, we're in scarce budgetary times. The amount of money that's being spent is composed of staff as well as uh, operational costs. The manpower alone for 25 full and part-time personnel to staff the 24-hour temporary shelter will cost $50,000 a month. Another $40,000 a month will pay for hygiene trailers, showers, food and bus services. The bulk of these funds come from the money the city saved through attrition by not filling vacant staff positions over the last 12 months. These expenditures will have no impact on existing city services or programs. So when we look at this, we took a careful approach, a thoughtful approach to make sure we were making an investment that had the biggest impact on our community. Another $100,000 is coming from the County of Santa Cruz pending board approval. That's enough to fund one month of the project, but the county will also provide social services for campers. We're going to have health care workers at the site. Uh, we provide services to the local homeless population with outreach workers, so we go where the homeless population is, and if they're over there, we'll be happy to go over there and offer them a number of different services. The new site hasn't opened yet, but there are indication it is already close to capacity. The next step is to contract with a nonprofit and set up a navigation center for services in a leased building. Funding considerations for future phases are being worked out between the city and the county and hopefully um, the Homeless Action Partnership as well, which is this, this, the other cities in the county. Right now we are in an emergency situation to make sure that we can address the impacts of homelessness in our downtown and parks and open spaces. And this was a responsible decision to make so that we can have the opportunity to connect um, these individuals with important county services. And once the move is made, city workers will begin to clean and rehabilitate the park so it can be used for upcoming scheduled events. No telling what the price tag will be for those repairs. Erin? All right, thank you, Phil. We'll get a closer look tomorrow at what $90,000 a month buys when the city hosts a media tour of the new temporary location on River Street.